How was Professor Fig able to cast his magic without his wand? Can all professors at Hogwarts do it? If yes, then why do we need wand to do magic? Hold tight everybody, I am going to answer those questions and so much more in today's video. So what's up YouTube, welcome back to Romanix Gaming. In today's video we are about to discuss some really mysterious things about Hogwarts Legacy Universe and some things that are just hidden in plain sight. So let us start with the obvious. How was Professor Fig able to cast the spell Accio without his wand when we were attacked by the dragon? Has he always been able to cast magic without his wand or was it a response triggered by his survival instinct? Well when I first saw this, I thought it is pretty common for a wizard to cast spell without his wand, just like Doctor Strange does. Please don't get into a debate with me that he is a sorcerer and Fig is a wizard. I am just using him as a reference. But I quickly realized that this isn't a viable statement because they both exist in a different universe. So I needed something from the Hogwarts Legacy universe to reach the answer for that and hence my quest began. As I said earlier, when I first witnessed this, I thought it's pretty common for people in this universe to do so. But as the game progressed, I noticed that nobody, literally not even a single soul, does their magic without their wand. Well, this strike me as something strange and I did what I always do, overthink, uh, theorize. I mean theorize. Whew. Theorize and research. Well, as I was searching for answers, I found some interesting things. But before we get into that, I want you to remember some things such as we don't use wandless magic and are taught basically every spell by the first line being careful with your wand movements or something like that. But why? Why do we need to be careful with our wand movements? I mean, what could go wrong? Well, a lot actually. Yeah, turns out our life is at stake if we messed up our wand movements. Let me explain. Whenever you learn a new spell that is actually meant for attacking the opponent such as Incendio or Confringo, they turn out to be quite dangerous than other spells. The reason we use our wands is purely because of our safety. Yeah, listen to this. You must be precise in your wand movements. We don't want you blowing your hand off. See, even our teacher is warning us about blowing our hands. Well, it turns out that when you cast a spell that is meant for attacking, there are chances of you messing up the spell and losing your hand or even possibly your life in the process. Let me explain that. Whenever a player fights with literally anyone in the game, they sometimes mess up the timing of spells being reset and our wand releases a spark. Well now imagine you casting an attacking spell and our hand is messing up on the timing. Well it will surely be your hand casting that spark. Not only that but you will notice that whenever we learn a new spell we sometimes mess up and our wand falls out of our hand. Well it's because that the magic that we intended to use actually backfired. But because our body triggered a survival response which caused us to drop the wand, hence the connection between our body and the wand was released which ultimately caused whatever pain we were about to feel is now being felt by a dead wood. Yeah, dead wood. Because we all know that wand is just an instrument that can be replaced but if something happened to our hand with that kind of power or force, we surely would have lost an entire arm and maybe our life too. You think I'm exaggerating? Look at this. Feel free to practice in the classroom before you go. I've set up a few Incendio. times for getting it. Yeah, with that kind of force backfiring to its source, I really don't want to be anywhere near it. So for right now we can conclude that we use our wand as a safety wall between us and our magic. Moving on, let's discuss how was Professor Fig able to cast Accio without his wand. As I was researching this, I found out that wandless magic is quite common in Hogwarts Legacy universe. This is because the game and the Harry Potter movies takes place in the same universe, just on different time periods and many a times in movies you would see people or creatures doing wandless magic just by their bare hands. Now unfortunately I can't play those clips here because I don't want a strike or claim at the moment. But you can go watch it if you want. Our next question is that what Professor Fig did in this scene was an experienced move or a survival instinct? According to me, this wasn't a survival instinct but rather an experienced move. Look at it like this. We all know that Professor Fig is an elder teacher teaching at Hogwarts. That means he has been teaching magic for decades. The other thing we can agree that magic is a skill. What happens when you practice your skills for a huge amount of time? They sharpen. So in conclusion, Professor Fig is decently skilled or even more in his magic. We see another two examples of it when Professor Hecat and Professor Ronan use their magic in front of us quite effortlessly. Not only that, but Professor Hecat even says that to the wise, age matters very little and it's the knowledge that's power. I half agree to that because age actually matters. As we grow old, our body increases in size 
our knowledge increases and our experiences increase too. So yeah, age matters and for Professor Fig, well I don't know how old he is, he looks like someone in his 50s right now. So another conclusion we reached is that what he did in this scene was actually an experienced and calculated move rather than survival instinct. You may now ask me Romit, if Professor Fig can cast spells without his wand, why doesn't any other professors do that? And even if they can, why do they not? Turns out this was a complicated question because in this game, as I mentioned earlier, nobody does their magic without their wand. Even as I was researching for this question, I found no evidence of any professor other than Fig casting their magic with their hands. But then I read my script again and realized they are doing this for public safety. Yeah, you heard that right, public safety. In this game, it is shown that the game takes place in Scotland. People here are familiar with the concept of magic. Not only that, just like a modern day government, they have an entire ministry of magic in this universe. Now imagine if all the professors started teaching their magic without wands, assuming that they all can do magic without their wands very well. Now here the students are being taught every kind of spell without a safety wall between them and their magic. Attack spells, defense spells, and even transfiguration spells and curses. This is a very dangerous type of power being given into a child's hands without any kind of safety measure. The number of accidents that could happen is huge. Imagine someone burning up their hand with a third degree burn or even freezing themselves like Captain America. Now I am not saying someone will intentionally do this, but if they are doing this in an isolated environment, considering public safety, they are still in a lot of danger danger of their own lives. If any of the above mentioned accidents happens when our victim is far from a well-known area, then there are chances that nobody would even know what happened to him. They might already be burned to death or frozen in ice for lifetime. Hell, even the worst case scenario being them cursing themselves, yeah, that is something you can't reverse because it is an unforgivable curse. So yeah, we finally conclude the video here answering some of our questions. However, I have even more questions like did any of the above mentioned accidents ever happen in this universe? Who founded the Ministry of Magic and implied all the rules and regulations we follow in this time? If the Ministry is familiar with the concept of magic, why isn't the entire world using magic right now? Hold on tight everyone, as I will try to answer everything in another video. Until then, take care and subscribe to Romanix Gaming.